Welcome back to today's crypto newsletter. And in today's newsletter, there will be the following main news. First news. Galaxy Digital CEO Mike Novogratz expects spot Bitcoin ETF approval by January 10th, regulatory progress after election. Galaxy Digital CEO Mike Novogratz expects the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission to approve a spot Bitcoin exchange-traded fund by January 10th next year. Subsequently, he foresees the cryptocurrency reclaiming its all-time high of $69,000 and wouldn't be surprised if it surpasses that price level. The executive also predicts progress in U.S. crypto regulation, expecting changes in leadership at the Treasury Department and the SEC after the upcoming presidential election. Regarding spot Bitcoin ETF approvals, the Galaxy Digital boss said, We are going to get this ETF before January 10th. Novogratz added that spot Bitcoin ETFs will likely take six to eight weeks after approval to start trading. After that, it's just more fuel for a fire, he stressed, emphasizing. Crypto stocks are trading like a maniac. He proceeded to outline the impact of institutions putting 1% of their portfolios into Bitcoin or spot Bitcoin ETFs. There isn't a lot of supply in Bitcoin, he began. We have customers that are platform customers and buy enough Bitcoin every day to take out all the miners, the executive claimed, adding. When you think about the supply-demand dynamic, we haven't really had a situation where you have a global market and you have something of such limited supply, and so I think Bitcoin can go far higher. Ripple registered with Central Bank of Ireland Ripple is now registered as a virtual asset service provider with the Central Bank of Ireland. The company explained that it will seek to provide services to clients across the European economic area once the markets and crypto assets regulation comes into force at the end of 2024. Subject to the acquisition of other necessary licenses. Ripple announced Tuesday that the Central Bank of Ireland has added its Irish subsidiary Ripple Markets Ireland LTD to its list of registered virtual asset service providers. The regulator's website states that companies are registered for anti-money laundering and countering the financing of terrorism purposes under Section 106A of the Criminal Justice, Money Laundering, and Terrorist Financing, Acts 2010-2021. The announcement details. Following the registration, Ripple will seek to provide services to clients across the European economic area once the markets and crypto assets regulation comes into force at the end of 2024. Subject to the acquisition of other necessary licenses, the crypto firm established its Dublin office in 2022. Ripple explained that Ireland has a growing reputation as an attractive location for companies involved in developing innovative technologies for financial services. Eric Van Miltenberg, Ripple's senior vice president for strategic initiatives, commented, Ireland has positioned itself as a supportive jurisdiction for the virtual assets industry and consequently as a great place for businesses like Ripple's to operate. Reinforcing our decision to select Ireland as our primary base for EU regulation. By providing regulatory clarity for the industry, Ireland, and the EU more broadly, are boosting confidence in the digital assets. Payments and fintech ecosystem and demonstrating their commitment to the long-term development of these industries. In October, Ripple's Singapore subsidiary, Ripple Markets APAC PTE LTD, secured its major payments institution license from the Monetary Authority of Singapore. During the same year, Ripple acquired the majority of its 35 money transmitter licenses in the U.S. Furthermore, the Dubai Financial Services Authority approved XRP for utilization within the Dubai International Financial Center in November. This approval enables licensed crypto firms in the DIFC to integrate XRP into their virtual asset services. What do you think about Ripple registering with the Central Bank of Ireland as a virtual asset service provider? Let us know in the comments section.